to a video tipping the show. I am. Happy Easter, bitches. No, I'm just kidding. Butt lovers. I have a bit of a confession. My Easter, Greek Easter, is actually next week, but I'm doing this to appease the general masses. What on earth will you be drinking for this drunken goodness? Watching Beaster. I was gonna watch Hop at first because that Jack Storms video gave me an idea, but then he rejected my collab and I couldn't find anywhere to watch it. So it's kind of a good thing that he rejected my collab. We're going to be eating. <laughs> I know what it looks like, okay? It doesn't look great but we're going to be eating the alcoholic jello that i made for the kcas we have shot glasses right here for scoop skis but this bowl is perfectly face shaped i better not be having flashbacks of this you know what i mean don't want to get messy <laughs> I forgot it wasn't a liquid. This shot glass smells like it was in an attic. I should have washed this before. Folks. Tubi's acting like a booby. Rated 16 and up. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that it was rated 16 and up, but one of the reviews that you said said that there were a lot of tits, so that doesn't feel right. Here comes Peter Cottonhead. That font looks like you can get it from iMovie. Who does he remind me of? The worst right. looking Andy Samuels. I was thinking- Cindy, you are like 20 years younger than my dad. I hope you like his old balls. I would love to be at a wedding like this. This guy named Lucas on TikTok was actually just talking about this today. He was like, I would love to be invited as a plus one to a wedding that goes wrong. I say plus one because I don't want to be emotionally invested in whatever fucking nonsense is going on. I've never been at a wedding where something went wrong, where someone says, I object, or like, I can't do this. You see it on TV and film. I, I deserve that to happen at least once. And honestly, when Lucas was talking about that, I wasn't convinced, but now that I'm watching this, this is fun. Bro, when does this take place? He doesn't have Uber. Funny that he's giving a thumbs up to a random car when he really gave a thumbs down to his daddy and his marriage. Why is he hitchhiking on a pedestrian sidewalk? He's just hoping for a runner to come by. He can just like hop on the guy's back. <laughs> It got on the camera! That's gonna be someone's job to clean up the camera. Oh, man. <laughs> what was that in <laughs> A stray piece of spaghetti being slurped into the mouth of the beast or rabbit. Wait, doesn't that look like the same guy though? Motherfucker got the same looking teeth. What does he have against dogs? Is he like animal control? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you fucking talking to me? <laughs> I learned a little something from Zombiever, and it's that the character that you want to die the most ends up either being Kill Blast or the sole survivor, because that's the only thing that keeps you watching. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy is going to last the whole movie, and we're just going to have to learn to live with him, I think. The shot looks like a Kara. Oh, it does. How festive. You said you wanted me to make this just so you could smell it. Smelling it, it'll titillize your senses. Oh, my senses are already being titillized. I don't like the way they say titillize. Me, yeah, same. I thought it was going to turn into a porn. One slice of bacon. The only one who's getting oh, pork no. tear is me. Oh, it's an for Romeo and Juliet. We watched that whole franchise also on this channel. Oh! <laughs> what? Not that being our first shot of it. You know what that reminds me of? That's literally that TikTok filter of Shrek in the Sky. At the time of editing this, I just realized there's also an Easter bunny in the sky filter. I can't make this shit up. That is Five Nights at Freddy's meets Chuck E. Cheese meets crap cocaine. It's such a dumb way to reveal the monster. Why is it moving like that? Is it fucking her house? <sighs> what? No! Oh, that's such an interesting shot. They just hooked up a GoPro to the shovel? I kind of fuck with that though. I want her to fall in a hole, have an Alice in Wonderland moment, but then the hole leads directly into that giant rabbit's mouth. How fun would that then? That would be pretty fun. <gasps> oh, oh my god! Did I call it? Did I call it? Stop. Aww. Aww. The Push her in. Inside the hole. Oh, okay. In what world is the 16 flaws? I'm no prude. I've seen some tit in, in movies, alright? But she was sprinting with them out. The jiggle physics in this movie is insane. <laughs> I was suspicious of her acting, and then she went, ah! And then the, the rabbit cut her shirt open, and I was like, oh, this isn't gonna pass the Bechdel test. Dad, I know my calling. You know what BFA stands for? Better find a, what is it? Job. 
That's BFA J, dumbass. Even I have a BFA and I know that. There's something really ironic about like an actor in a D-list movie having a monologue about how pointless it is to be an actor. It's kind of cruel. Like whoever wrote in this yeah. scene, like go to hell. That's <laughs> so mean. I don't know why I thought I was going to eat this lettuce and be like, no one should eat like this. Rabbits eat like this. Yeah, I'm I'm just really waiting for the really awful horned in rabbit food joke. Wait a goddamn minute. Is this another woman that they're just introducing to be killed off? I feel like there's two different movies going on right now. Right? Why is he so bow-legged? Why is he standing like fucking Fosse? All of these reactions are very tame. <laughs> just like walking away. I love that he just like left the horse alone. That's kind of baller. All right, look, this is just a job, you know? We used to pay the bills, all right? I'd rather be working at Applebee's. What the fuck? You're out there making a difference every day and you'd rather work at Applebee's? Speaking of Applebee's, let's, uh, why don't we go out and have a drink? No, no, fuck that. Not after what you just told me. Loser shit. <laughs> what a loser. That, oh! <laughs> All right, if I'm not going to be a smoke, then we should definitely go to a diner. Well, you can't skinny dip in a restaurant. Oh my god, more tits. Go. Props to her for her cooch not being completely shaven. Ooh, no, it's refreshing. <laughs> so we meet this guy, he's the mayor of the town or whatever, and he's the worst. We see him literally stealing candy from a baby. He's a pedophile. He doesn't care about anything. He hears people are dying. And he's like, whoopsie doopsie, what do you want me to do about it? Are they killing the people that are voting for me or not? And you know, it's this big, ooh, government bad message, which I've never fucking heard before in my life. Pretty subversive. I hate this man. I hate the character. And my reactions aren't even worth it. But I wanted you to know so you can follow the story. Okay, bye. They really do get, like, models just to be killed. <laughs> I have to tweet about this. <laughs> you know, this says a lot about society. I'm so over these death scenes. Actually, pause. I just realized something. That whole wedding scene we saw in the beginning. That was just a death scene. <laughs> We're never going to see any of those characters again. Why do we need so much backstory? Oh, this girl likes riding horses. This girl likes jogging and rock climbing. This girl was on a romantic outing with a boyfriend that smokes a lot. We don't need to know any of that shit. Just show them being decapitated or having their arm chopped off or, you know, running around with their boobs out. I don't fucking care. But can we not... Can we not have a backstory for every single random pedestrian? This Easter bunny thing walks like a baby with a full diaper. It's kind of cute. I've got some really, really important news. If I were that guy reporting to the mayor on like people being killed, I'd be like, and most of them are fucking naked. So tell that bitch to cover up, bro. I'm gonna get her killed out here. Oh, motherfucker learned how to jump. That's pretty exciting. That is pretty exciting. That's exciting, Rebel. Oh, now he's back to this shit. What's that? Oh, wow. Oh. That's pretty cool. Is there gonna be another Easter bunny that comes out of that one? I just have a quick question. This man is like if Pete Davidson had no game. I don't know why I keep thinking that, but that's what I think. I was running through the woods, breathless, credulous, looking for a pack of wolves. But do you know what I found? A 50 foot cannibal rabbit! The camera change in this scene is so alarming. It like kind of turned into like a mockumentary handheld thing, and that was not seen throughout the rest of the movie. Again, I'm being way over analytical. I think the rest of the movie actually would have been better if it was in this style. It makes it funnier. Evacuate now! Yo, shut the fuck up, I'll come over there and beat your ass so hard your grandkids will bleed. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> no! No, John! <laughs> Why did they add voiceover to this? Because it felt awkward about Is running down the street mind? actually Is screaming. Is there any validity to the rumors of wild animals in the woods? Are you asking me if there are wild animals in the woods? Yeah. Mr. Mayor, we have more questions. I'm serious. I swear that's what I heard. I gotta say that Easter celebration looks really fun. This does look really fun, actually. You didn't invite me to my favorite holiday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice! 
nice. Pretty good symbolism there. Once the government, the man is crushed, there's a beautiful peace sign splayed out in blood. Where did his body go? Doesn't matter, dude. That's a joke. Come on, baby. What is going on in here? If I saw my... Well, first of all, this wouldn't happen because I'm a child of divorce. An adult of divorce. If I ever walked in on my parents doing, like, food play, foreplay nonsense as I'm trying to warn them about this giant animal trying to maul the city, I'd be like, you know what? I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Don't worry about what I was gonna say. We're all good. I'll deal with hell when I get there. Can't be worse than this. Oh my god, she's no, using no, him no, as bait. Oh, oh, she's using him as bait? What a fucking girl boss. I thought it was gonna be like a, I should have trusted you moment, but she doesn't give a shit and that makes me really happy. That's all it took? Four bullets? There are people that have died with more than that. Prediction. We still haven't seen what's inside the egg. Is the movie gonna end with like it cracking a little bit? And it being like, the end? Question mark? Maybe. There's part of me that thinks the screenwriters have just completely forgotten about the egg at this point. <laughs> The only thing keeping me going was what's we inside might. that egg, and we just, like, maybe they just threw it in the fucking garbage. We might just never see that egg again. Maybe it's just like, ooh, it's, it's pretty stinky. <laughs> Rotten. Okay. Hello? The egg. The egg. What happened to the egg? What about the egg? Nothing. Nothing. They're not no, gonna- they'd nothing. I'd rather just, like, have close-ups of these guys' faces. Okay, so what did we learn? Um... That did not pass the Bechdel test.